Hey guys. guys! Welcome back to my channel. And we hope you had a great holiday and happy New Year's. In fact, it is New Year's Eve today as we are filming. And I have my lovely fiance with me. Ooh, fiance. That's right, fiance. Okay, so we got engaged. We went on a cruise for his 30th birthday. I had never been on a cruise before. And it was incredible. It was like a six night cruise or seven, seven night, night cruise. Mm -hmm. And we went to Mexico and the Bahamas, crystal clear waters, and he proposed in Mexico. Yes. And it was really beautiful after a snorkeling trip. That was incredible. I'm usually really afraid of snorkeling, but this time I was very calm, as calm as I could be. <laughs> we didn't see any sharks and at the end of the snorkeling trip that's when he proposed yep mm -hmm. that's it that's the story and she never did cruises before so i'm a cruise girl now i was yeah. so relaxed more relaxed than i've ever been so it was my third cruise but my second one as an adult and all i ever wanted to do ever since my first one as an adult was go on a cruise of seven nights or mm -hmm. more because i always feel like the i felt like it was too short mm -hmm. so that's what we did and i wanted to go on the biggest ship i could so we did that as well we took a royal caribbean mm -hmm. feel free to sponsor this and <laughs> Send us um, on another cruise. Yeah, just, we'll just take a free cruise. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so now we really want to do cruises, more of them. We'll see what we yeah. do. And we, did you have a good 30th birthday? I had a great 30th birthday. Yeah. And it was very convenient because we're not far from the port here in Miami. So, so and what are we. Speaking of our location, we do still live in Miami, which is, as I'm sure you guys know, like warm all year round. The weather really doesn't change, the seasons don't really change. So. One reason why I love these seasonal videos so much is because they help me feel in season. So today's video is going to be the best winter perfumes. And I actually tend to like my winter perfumes the best because my taste leans more towards heavier, sweeter gourmand scents that can be a little overwhelming when it's really hot. So when it does cool down here a little bit, I pull these babies out and that's what we're gonna be sharing with you today. Tanner has not smelled these before I start the video, so all of his reactions are gonna be very raw, and he never remembers what a perfume is when I wear it, like based on the bottle, so. No, I don't know the no bottles need for, at all. No need for a blindfold either. Don't know, yeah, <laughs> literally don't know the bottles at all, and yeah. I'll smell things that she's wearing, and she's had them forever, and I forget. I'm like, oh, what's that? It's kinda cute. Okay, so. First one, this is probably the one I'm most excited about and I've been wearing the most lately. This is Juliet Has a Gun Lipstick Fever. And I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I did just buy my first full-size bottle of it. I did have a travel size before and I used it completely up. I absolutely love this perfume. It's very like vintage makeup smelling. Vintage. And it's very feminine. Like anytime I wear this, I just feel like I need a faux fur coat and like red lipstick. It's just very like ultra feminine. It reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. Should I spray it on my arm? Yeah, we need space for the okay, other ones. Yeah. How many we got? Six. Hmm, I see where you get vintage. Yeah, it's like a little, it's like a makeup smell. It kind of smells it like is. lipstick. It smells like a girl who like just got all dolled up and it's like very particular. Yeah, like a powder room, vintage. Yeah. It could also be like you just walking into like a, a perfume place. It just makes me feel like very mm -hmm. put together when I wear it. I've been wearing it to work a lot. Yeah, it's sweet. It's a good work scent because it does make you feel like dressed up for some sweet, reason. Sweet, thicker scent, vintage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like uh, professional would work. It's not too sexy, I mm -hmm. would say, right? I think it is sexy, oh. but like in a subdued way. Like you're not in your face trying right, to be sexy, right, but it's like, right. oh, like she's put together. Like yes, classy, exactly, you know? exactly, put together. And that can be sexy in its own mm -hmm. way. It's it's like a Capricorn sexy. Yeah, agreed. So yeah, Juliet has a But definitely, nice because fever. it's that thicker type of smell, that's why it works for winter. So yeah, it's thick. It's, it's just a little a thicker, too muskier. powdery, yeah. musky for yeah. like really hot days. Mm -hmm. So it, it pairs really nice with cold weather. Okay, next one, let's see. I think this might have been in my last video. I don't know which video this was in. Oh my God, I remember. This is the one somebody called me out in the video that uh, I had this in. <laughs> How you said um, it? Yeah, for yeah. saying Givenchy. I know in my head it's Givenchy. Like, I know it's Givenchy. I don't know why that day I said Givenchy. Something was just not, I must have been a little off. I just read it and I was like, oh, Givenchy. But like, I know the designer's name is Givenchy. So really hate myself for that. Um, but this is L'Entredie, which I'm probably also not pronouncing correctly. I'm sorry to any French people out there. So let's go ahead and spray this. What, not on the same arm. No, it's, it's a little bit down. Okay. We've got six to go through. 
That one's potent. This one is really nice. You actually love this one. Yeah, I can tell. I'd probably like this one. Yeah, this one. Okay, so how I described it before is it's like Killian Love Don't Be Shy's Sexy Older Sister. It has like that same fluffy, girly quality, kind of like marshmallowy in a way. Yeah, yeah. And like very sweet, but it, it has something more mature in it. A little bit of like a kick, a little bit of spice. It's very smooth. It does have a little bit of that marshmallow. It does have a little bit of spice it's and like nice fancy sexy. soap. Like not soap that's really soap, but like fancy soap. It's just really sexy. And what this reminds me of, okay, another analogy is in Vampire Diaries. Sorry. In Vampire Diaries. Thank you. In Vampire Diaries, there's <laughs> Elena Gilbert, right? Mm. She would be Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Mm. But Catherine right, would be this. Right, right. Like it's the same vibe, Kathy. but this is like more vampy. You know? It's a vampy looking bottle. It is. Like a vampire would a wear that. Bottle. I love the bottle. And I love the scent. This is an extremely nice scent. Definitely yeah. recommend it. Oh my god, I just realized we forgot to read the notes for Julia Has a Gun, so we can read them both. So let's pull up the notes. Going back to Julia Has a Gun, we need the notes. We're going to tell you what the notes are of the notes. Julia has a gun. The top notes are raspberry and violet. The middle notes are iris and patchouli, and the base notes are cedar and vanilla. Not too overcomplicated. It really does smell like that. You can get the raspberry. The violet and the iris are what gives it that powdery makeup smell. And then a little sweet and woody. Pretty self-explanatory. And then for L'Entradie. So the top notes are ginger mm -hmm. and blood orange. Mm -hmm. Middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, and pimento leaf. And the base notes are sandalwood, patchouli, and vetiver. There is no marshmallow in this one, but I think why it gives off a similar vibe is the jasmine. And then also there's tuberose in here. And the tuberose in here is that like bubblegummy tuberose. You know how sometimes tuberose can be a little bubblegummy? I also feel like Killian Love Don't Be Shy has a bubblegum vibe. Yeah, it's got a bubblegum vibe. So bubblegum vibe. Bubble gum vibe. Bubble so gum yeah, I think that's why it smells similar to us. Yeah. I also see this as a good clubbing scent, like yeah. a night out. Like if you mm -hmm. want to stand out. Yep overspray it a little bit and when you walk in everyone's gonna be like yeah. Ooh, she's well it's got a good projection right out the gate no it actually does i don't, I don't does. know how long it lasts but. it lasts great no the performance of the perfume is really good um definitely julia has a gun you have to spray on your clothes if you want it to last though it's not like if you spray it on your skin it's gonna disappear you gotta spray your clothes for that one this one either way great performance either way all right next one and this one I have also been wearing a lot. I just got it and there's already a big dent. See, do you recognize this perfume? Yeah. This is the one Kaoli. that I took on the cruise. It's oh, new I don't recognize it like that. I just knew it was Kaoli. It is a different bottle than the one I know I like. Yeah, the vanilla one. Yeah. This one is Love Fest Burning Cherry from Kaoli. And I brought this on our cruise when we got engaged. I wore this a ton. So I love that I have that memory tied with the perfume now. I absolutely love this. I think it's my, I think it's actually my favorite Kaoli perfume now. Like I love the Whoa. vanilla one, but as a standalone perfume, this one. I love to mix the vanilla one. But but this one is just beautiful to me. I love cherry scents. And then it also reminds me a lot of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I love my Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Where is it? This is my Tom Ford Lost Cherry. But this tiny little bottle, I believe... I paid like over two hundred dollars. I'm pretty Whoa. sure it's like I'm pretty sure it's like two ten. I think I got it on sale. I think I got like twenty percent off. Is there anything left? In? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, there is. I, I use this very sparingly. I adore this scent and I like this one even more than the Kaoli, but they are really similar and I've smelled the Kaoli on somebody and thought it was Lost Cherry. So mm. I love them both. If I had to choose, I would choose Lost Cherry, but also when I run out of this fragrance, like I don't know how soon I'm going to spend that kind of money again. I'd rather just buy this because it's very, very close. Mm -hmm. Cherry. <laughs> Cherry. Mm -hmm. Does it remind you of the cruise? It reminds me of the casino. <laughs> and getting a Negroni. Casinos smell like cigarettes. This is very clean. And it's much lighter than the other two, which make the other two seem more wintry now. Really? I think this one's more wintry. It's boozy. It has like an alcohol vibe. And the it's kind of smoky. Nice. I like the cherry. I don't get the smoke. Really? Yeah, I get a very light, nice cherry, soothing, smooth. What are the notes in it? So the top notes are burning cherry, raspberry, and bergamot. Yeah. The middle notes are praline, heliotrope, damask rose, and jasmine sandback. And the base notes are palo santo, tonka bean, guaiac wood, and bretolide. 
peru blossom, Haitian vetiver, and patchouli. I thought there was some kind of like boozy scent, but maybe that's just the lost cherry. Now I kind of want to spray this and see if I can smell. This one is boozy. Like you smell a little bit of rum or something. Yeah. It's very, very sweet. Does have a little bit of booze in there. Yeah, and I, I guess love it is a rum, that. A rummy. I love a boozy scent. This one has a lot of notes too. But yeah, they both have tonka bean. They both have the cherry. This one has almond, which is very important. I love the scent of almond. It's like this sweet like mm. bakery scent. I've, really, I've noticed that. So those are those. But overall, if you love Lost Cherry, you don't want to spend that kind of money, check Love Fest Burning Cherry out. I think it's a solid winter perfume. Okay, next one. I actually don't wear this one a lot, but when I was picking up perfumes for this video, I was like, you know what I need to wear more? and is an outstanding winter scent is this. And this is um, Lancome La Nuit Tresor. This is like a smoky strawberry nightclub scent. This bottle. And listen. It is amazing. It's amazing. Look at this. It has mm -hmm. a rose bow on it in black, which I love. These are like, these are some of the nicest. And wait till you smell it. it these are maybe the nicest bottles you have. I know, I have another pink one somewhere. Yeah, there's another one, but yeah, this is cool. So if you're into bottles, this alone already went. Oh. Hmm. Isn't it interesting? It, it's This one has so many notes in it. Back to that like really nice fancy soap that's not really soap. Oh, but it's something super sweet in there. Strawberry. I think there's also like caramel. This is so nice you'd like want to eat somebody's neck. It tastes like car or it smells like caramel too. This is a vampire just because you want to eat them. Oh my god that smells so good. So good. It smells better on you than it does on me. It hits but, you with a sweet smack and then right after it rolls into something Do you want to know the reason that I haven't worn this for a while? Something smooth after that. Why? Last time I wore this I got really drunk. Oh, it's linked. Yeah. Now I forgot about it and now I want to wear this again. Let me smell it on your arm again. Interesting. It smells so good. The best way I can describe it is like a strawberry hookah. Yeah, it has that hookah smoky, vibe to it. Yeah, smoky but like va sweet. smoky vapor where you know when you smell hookah, like the, the vapor like kind of goes through your nose. It's like somebody's sweet vape pen, yeah, like in a good yeah, way. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah, so what are we smelling right out the okay, gate? Okay, so we top the... notes are pear, tangerine, and bergamot. Middle notes are strawberry, vanilla, Yeah, orchid, vanilla for sure. Black rose. Yeah. I smell the rose. Too. That vanilla is such a complimentary scent to like the sweeter, like the, the, the strawberry or the rose or the tangerine and like mm -hmm. it just gets smoothed out with vanilla. Passion fruit, see there's caramel in it. Mm -hmm. Praline, caramel, lychee, vanilla, more vanilla. Mm -hmm. Patchouli, incense, coffee, licorice, mm -hmm. coumarin, and papyrus. Yeah. This one in the Givenchy. 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 Did I just do what you did? Yeah. <laughs> Givenchy and this is at the top right now. I can see where, why it's a winner. This is cozy. This is a cozy one. You want to get them snuggled up right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's also like a good clubbing party. Definitely clubbing or just like a nice night out. You can wear this for a lot of things. I don't know if it's a work scent. No, you don't want to work in this. You're going to be picking up guys while you're working. Yeah, not the vibe. Not the vibe. Rebel Monty. We're open to sponsors here. All right. Just DM her. DM me. Pay me, DM her. <laughs> this one is a classic. It's been around a really long time. This is Hypnotic Poison from Dior. This reminds me of... Um, Snow White. Yes. How do you know? Because it reminds me of Snow White. It reminds me of Snow White. We'll just be wrong. It reminds me of a poison apple. Yeah. That reminds me just like... I, immediately I look at it like, that's Snow White. Mm-hmm. I need to make a Disney princess video where I do like, what would the Disney princesses wear? Yeah. Snow White. Snow White. Actually, Snow White wouldn't wear this, but the Evil Queen would. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we hit the wrist, so we hit the forearm now. I know you like this one. Oh, do I now? Mm hmm. I haven't worn it in a while. It smells like dessert. I like this one. I usually say something. Mm hmm. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Yeah. You don't like it? This isn't normally something I would. What do I when say? I, last time I wore this, you were like, mmm, and you couldn't stop sniffing it. Interesting. Mm hmm. This is much lighter than the others. It doesn't have. No, a, it's not. It doesn't have much as much of a punch. That's so not true. It hit, hit me again right here. I think I, I just didn't spray enough on you. A little higher. There you go. This is like an almond, plum, vanilla. All right. Just on this review, I mean, I might love it on her, but maybe it's my skin. Maybe mm -hmm. my skin's making it different, but I, it, it seems much thinner, less musky of a scent than the ones really? prior to this. This is to me. People this is are, my opinion. People are going to be so shocked. You're going to hate this, sure, whatever, but to me, it smells Listen, thinner, I know, not as musky. I know that you guys trust his opinion, and he has great opinions, but like in this case, he's I wrong. could definitely be wrong. This is not a light scent. This is my least favorite of them all right now. All right. 
Well, I'm not saying it's light. It's not light. It doesn't. It's not. It's lighter than the previous just reviewed. As far as how musky or thick the scent comes off, it does have something soothing in there, but it doesn't have anything with a punch. The rest have like usually a punch in it somewhere where you got like a certain scent like right out the gate in your nose. Mm, that smells so good though. This is just more of like one of those overall greats. It does have something soothing in it. What's the soothing smell? Oh, the coconut. Yeah, that's what it was. I was trying to figure out something. Top notes are. That's not the soothing smell. Coconut's just in there. Top notes are coconut, plum, and apricot. Middle notes are Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, tuberose, rose and lily of the valley and the base notes are vanilla almond sandalwood and musk yeah the almond sandalwood and um vanilla they get smooth you mm -hmm. definitely can smell the coconut mm -hmm. you can smell the coconut it's nice and i mean you usually are a little more cuddly when i wear this wow. but i'm surprised that you don't like it yeah i think also like what i like on you can be one your skin's different two you might blend it sometimes three it's based on maybe what you've already been wearing lately. So I think I, n I notice your changes more. Mm. Like you'll rock something for a little bit or a similar sense and then you'll switch mm -hmm. to something completely different and then I'll be like, oh, what's that? Yeah, that's you know true, I mean? that's true. So. I do like kind of hyper fixate on a scent and like right now it's been this. I've been wearing this a lot. Which is Juliet has But I've been working a lot and there's only so many scents that work well for work. All right, what well, else we got? Okay, this is the last one of the video. This is the one that I said kind of reminded me of Santel 33. And we gifted Santel 33 to his brother this year. Yeah, so. His brother really wanted a good sandalwood scent. Yeah, exactly. And we Santel went on the search. We went on the search. We went on the search. We smelled a lot of things. I really wanted mm -hmm. to make sure we got him that because he personally asked Lucy Which to might, find yeah, it. Yeah, a right? good sandalwood so, scent. Yeah, because he had an interaction with the sandalwood scent. So he was mm -hmm. kind of obsessed with sandalwood. We ended up with Santel 33, which I I actually like a lot. I think mm -hmm. bonus scent to this video is Santel 33 in the sense of a winter scent. I mm -hmm. think it's a great winter scent. Yeah, but it, it really is because it's woody and it's like just cozy and warm. But this is Mason Louis Marie number no. four, Bois de Valencourt, and this is all woody. It's very dry. Did I spray something on this arm? It's a very like dry, so woody high. scent. Okay. Lots of sandalwood. I think there's some cinnamon and nutmeg in there. It's very natural. I don't have a lot of perfumes like this that don't have any sweetness to them. I can see why they call it a dupe to Santo. Yeah, some people have said it's like kind of a dupe. I think this one's a bit more feminine. This is unisex, but I think this one is a little bit more this, feminine. I, this is there's like more, more cinnamon, like there's a little bit more sweetness. It's less masculine. It's definitely less masculine. It's like sandalwood and then there's just a little sweet note with it, like going along for the ride. What yeah. is it? What's that sweet note? Cinnamon. Really? Yeah, because the top note is That's sandalwood That's it? Maybe, cedar. okay, but what about the... Nutmeg, maybe the nutmeg. Yeah, middle note is vetiver, nutmeg, cinnamon. The performance of this one is definitely not the best. Mm -hmm. Like you kind of have to overspray it. I love the scent so much that I don't mind. I just overspray, but it is a really beautiful, magical, foresty, woodsy, yummy scent. The cinnamon and the nutmeg make it very like cozy for the winter time. Too. I mean, it's cinnamon and nutmeg. It's a winter scent. It's a winter. It's scent. a winter scent. So yeah. when 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 do you think of cinnamon and nutmeg? It smells Christmassy. Yeah. And wood scents are very winter Christmassy, so yeah. very nice. Reminds me of being in a sauna. Mm. Should we do a, uh, a bonus scent for the men? A bonus scent for a, the We men? have a winter glow. Oh, in the for house. the winter. Oh, bring it, out. bring it out. Bring it out. All right, so this for the men, or if you want to get something for a man, this is Spice Bomb Infrared by Victor and Rolf. You got this for me for a gift? Yes. So, I, when did I get that for you? Your birthday? Last birthday, yeah. Last birthday. Yeah. So 29. Yeah. So I get a clone every birthday, apparently. Oh, yeah, because I got. Which clone did I get you? Prada. This year? Oh, yeah. We'll show that another time. But the yeah. Prada, Prada is so good. But the okay. Spice Bomb was first, and uh, very, I think, very much a winner scent. So. Mm. I haven't smelled this in a minute. I've this been, one is I've been so the Prada. nice. This one is like delicious. And it's cool because it, it's shaped like a grenade and then it has this, it's clipped to stop the sprayer is just like a pin on a grenade. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really cool. Oh, so, oh my God. It's so good. So smoky and so spicy. It's, it's winter. Mm. That's winter. See, like if you want, if you want your girl to cuddle you, mm -hmm. this is the one. Like this just makes me want to give you a hug and like nuzzle into your I'm neck. I'm going to have to give it, and it's not expensive. How much are Yeah, these? it's, it's a, like a normal designer perfume. Like 80 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, for this size, right? Which is a, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't want to give them the wrong information. Let me just look it up. We're looking it up. Looking it up. So let's see. I got the 1.7, which is 94. 94 bucks, 1.7. Okay. Actually, it's on sale right now for 94. 
Uh, and it's out of stock. Where? Oh. On Sephora. It's usually $99. So $100 for 1.7 ounces. It lasted me a really long time. Honestly, I don't wear cologne. If you're a high wearer, you, you'll probably blow through it a little bit faster, maybe half the time. Mm -hmm. But for me, I wore it pretty much every time I went to work. Mm -hmm. I'd wear it, and if we were going out to do something, I'd wear it. And it made it almost an entire... Actually, I get, technically, it did make it a year. So, I, you know, I was mixing in a, a Gucci I have a little bit mm -hmm. with it, though. But I also got you that. I feel so fancy. I got I got the Gucci one for you for your birthday, like right when the year, yeah. So I, that's I think that's a good tradition. I think you should keep buying me one every. Yeah, day. and then he can have his own little man. Yeah. Perfume well, I need uh, we got to get like two more right now so that it becomes a collection because right now I blow through them right. waiting for the next one. So he has like his signature scent. Yeah. And then he gets a new signature. Scent. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna need two side scents. Yeah. Or re-up on the Gucci, Gucci and the Spice Bomb, and like I just my my scent yes. grows. I don't get new ones. I just yeah. collect. That'd be cool. All right. Well, what was your you favorite? Guys. Oh, which one's my favorite? If you had to pick one winner. I mean, right now the ones I feel most drawn to are these two. Okay, we're doing two. Okay, so, so what's the yours? Kaali Love Fest Burning Cherry. Just because right now I'm so obsessed with cherry scents, I feel like most people are. It's like very trendy right now. And then Lipstick Fever. I love this one because it's super unique and you don't hear hear about it a lot. So I do feel like I'm wearing something different when I do wear mm -hmm. it. And yeah, these two would be my top two winter picks. How about cool. you? I got a uh, Givenchy. Uh, I think that is a great scent. And then what's this one called? That is the La Nuit Tresor. Yeah, those are my two. Well, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you have a happy new year and we'll see you in my next video. Well, you might not, but I will. See ya. Bye.